welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be using the collection Still Me by Tracy Reed. I am a part of her hybrid design team, so she offers digital um, products that you can buy as like an entire collection or pick and choose the pieces that you want. So they're always journaling cards, there are the stickers, and then there are the travelers notebook pages as well as 12 by 12 and journal cards she offers. So I went ahead and already sent mine to print actually at Office Depot. My um, current home comp uh, printer has decided to die on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did have to send out until I decide what uh, printer to buy next um, to Office Depot. I think they were 60 cents, maybe less, a sheet. I can't remember. So like total right here for all of this, I think I spent less than $10, um, which is fine for me because I got a lot of different product to use right now. And so these are the journaling cards. This is journal card set number one. There is a number two um, as well. And I just like the sentiment in this Still Me collection. It's very... Um, positive affirmations, um, kind of um, the process of, of you know self-care. And so it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. And I just like the elements that are here. The sticker sheets as well, we get some fun borders, these pencils and these banners, as well as other little floral embellishments. Your next chapter is going to be amazing. Little planners, the a watch, these um, ladies are all really cute. Um, you got out of bed today. Uh, flowers can bloom without water. Progress over perfection. I like that one a lot. And so the um, trick too with these is that she's, you get the, the, the printable sheet and then you can actually put this if you have a, a cutter, a machine cutter, I have a silhouette. I can put this on my cutting mat and then you can trace the outline so you don't have to fussy cut them if you're able to do that. Or you can fussy cut them out as well. If you look really close, there are like these faint gray markings around it so you know where to cut. Um, where the cut lines are, do give the stickers a white border. So if you are fussy cutting them, you can get right up to the edge on the elements if you wanted to. There's some really good labels on this one. I will link below Tracy Reed's actual unboxing of the whole collection down below. I'm just giving you a sample of what I printed off and what I'm going to be using in today's layout. Um, pencils are really cute in this floral. I always like a good floral. I like this mixed media one. It's kind of on like newspaper text. I like the color palette too. It's a pastel collection. Um, I like to work in pastels, just a softer color palette. But these are pretty much all the colors in there. I love this one too. And so my um, goal too with being on our design team is to challenge myself to do different spreads um, for my process videos. In particular, some more traveler's notebooks. This one's really similar. You can almost think it's like together, but this one's all gray with white doodles. And then this one has some pink in it. This one doesn't. Um, traveler's notebooks, what was I also going to say? Also to show some of my process videos on my pocket pages. You saw that I do keep up with uh, Project Life on my own, um, but usually I don't film that because I just kind of print a photo as I go and then kind of do um, the cards as I see fit, but I can definitely take you along the process and these are all the color tones um, in this whole collection which are on the back. So it's a really cute, cute collection. And let's get started um, making okay, some. Okay, so let's get started. I did decide on using this like mixed media paper and this complimentary like periwinkle one. They were printed on the same page together. So I thought let's just roll with it. <laughs> and they fit perfectly in my book. It was just a smidge too short. So I'm wondering if that is just the way I printed them and a little bit off or if my traveler's notebook is also way too long. I don't know. But <laughs> I was trying to use some of the templates also that uh, Tracy Reed offers on her website. They're kind of like uh, kind of jumping off points for traveler's notebook layouts. Um, I do want to get into using my traveler's notebook a little bit more. I feel like it's a good challenge like for creativity every day to get the story documented and to work on a smaller scale, which can be good um, from time to time, especially since sometimes um, doing a 12 by 12 during the week, say for me, is a little bit more daunting than I could say do a uh, traveler's notebook layout because it's just a smaller scale. And so I am scrapping. These are a few photos that I still had left over that were sitting in my two scrap pile from my Mother's Day photo shoot. And I thought my dress color being the same kind of periwinkle color as well went perfectly with this background paper. 
And so I cut two strips down, as you saw, of like other pattern papers in the collection so that everything ties together. And then took the time to fussy cut some of her like stickers slash embellishment pages um, as well. I could have ran it through my Silhouette Cameo, but I think I got a little bit lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just fussy cut the labels out and some of the kind of classic shapes like rectangles and some banners and stuff that I knew wouldn't be that hard to um, cut. And then the little um, journaling card that you see that I used um, most for my title, it says... Um, uh, my best dreams come true when I'm wide awake. That was from the journaling card aspect of the collection that I printed. And I do believe I was using one more, but I think I vetoed it off. And then, of course, I'm using the florals. And then I love these larger labels. And I think I start cutting out the other two because there's a pink, a blue, and a yellow to have kind of at least like three stepping stones for my journaling to go. Um, what I also played with was flip-flopping um, the layout a little bit because on the left I have the photo on the bottom and then on the right to the top. And I was flip-flopping it, but I decided I like this layout better just because the photo, that one of me and Valentina, I did blow up and it's on like our gallery wall as well. It was just my favorite. Like it caught her smiling really good. Up oh, there's me like flip-flopping it and I was just like, mm, no, I still like it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> decisions decisions and so then I did the clusters that I needed to that I enjoyed and I started doing my journaling that I also did in like a purple ink like a violet ink in order to kind of still go with the collection so I super love the way this turned out and I would highly give um, Tracy Reed's designs a look for the still me collection I will have it linked down below and follow the rest of us on her team with great uh, inspiration how to use her products until next time thank you and please subscribe give this video a thumbs up um until next time bye